Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial from the Reaper blog. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a reverse reverb effect. And that sounds like this. Let me solo that effect for you. And let's start from the beginning. So first I'm going to make a new track. I'm going to hit my shortcut to make a new track below the selected track. And let's call this a reverse reverb. Now we need to grab a section of audio that we're going to reverse. Usually we're going to grab the first part of a vocal, but we might grab a long scream or something like that. So I'm going to highlight a section and then I'm going to press command and drag down to copy that to the new track. What I'm doing there is this mouse modifier for uh, media item and left drag. That's copy item. Uh, you can also copy and paste. So the next thing we want to do is reverse this sound. So this is the sound we have to start with. Hold. And we're going to reverse it by right-clicking item settings and reverse active take. Now it sounds like this. No. Now we need to apply the reverb to it. What I like to do is apply it from the track. So I'm going to use Valhalla Plate and set this mix to about 70% or so and give a nice long decay time. Uh, there is some problems here with the, the way that the vocal comes up. Using the take volume envelope, I'm just going to draw this out a little bit. So something like that. So we don't want that sort of gasp. We want it to be smooth. We need 4.9 seconds for this to decay. So I'm going to drag this out a little bit. And this is the area that was before the vocal. I just want to make sure that it's all silent in that section. So now we right click and we go apply track slash take effects to items as new take. So that's going to run the sound through the effects chain on the track and then give us a new file in the same position with the reverb applied to it. Now we can turn off the reverb by just bypassing the effects chain there and close this. And now here's what we have. Now we can reverse it again, which puts the sound on the rear end of this item. We just need to move it over now. So we'll just like line it up kind of by eye, kind of by ear in this position. Let's see how that fits now. Holding on. Okay, so that's a little too early. We don't really need to see multiple takes. So I'm going to turn that off in the options. Now we're just seeing the take that we're using. And I'm going to bump this up. Running through the reverb really makes it quiet. And we're not getting any of the track effects from the original verse vocal. Uh, you could always render those effects first. I think just a volume boost is all we need here. And then we're going to grab the left corner and drag over to make a fade and right click in that cross-faded area to choose a different curve. So I'm going to go with this more steep curve, steep fade in. Let's try that. Holding on. And with the mix. Holding on. OK, so maybe a little bit off. Let's bump it over by one eighth note and just this fade until it sounds right. So that's a little subtler than I had originally, but I think it does sound good. When you're using a lot of these effects, subtle is better, and um, try not to overdo it. This effect also works with delays. Instead of using the reverb, you can use the delay, or any combination of reverb and delay and pitch shifting, things like that. Uh, but generally, you want something that's going to extend the time, and then you use that tail as a buildup. That's it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. 
And don't forget to check out reaperblog.net for a lot more Reaper tips and tricks.